Hey Ray family, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. We are welcoming you inside. Join the Ray family. And if you're not, thank you for watching another video. I really appreciate you guys. Y'all are the real MVP, you already know. So today's video I thought would be a bit fun. I wanted to show um, myself using a whole range of e.l.f. cosmetics products. So e.l.f. was nice enough to gift me, just to show you guys. Um, this this note I'm taking it to everywhere I go like this is such a big deal for me working with elf is absolutely amazing and I thought what better way to you know just show my appreciation with what they've given me they've given me tons of stuff guys and do a video for you guys here on YouTube just using all elf cosmetics and what I love about elf is it is drugstore number one so the prices are very affordable and number two it's a product I already love you guys if you've watched any of my other videos you see I use a lot of elf cosmetic concealers and in the past I have also used their foundation as well so this is gonna be the finished look so if you like what you see then keep on watching I haven't actually unboxed anything this is gonna be my first time apart from this oh my gosh I love this so I'm gonna just brush my eyebrows into place and this is their um, ultra precise brow pencil now I do also use their uh, blemish primer so it's a primer that has salicylic acid inside of it and if you are like me you know you suffer with acne and things like that then it's such a good product to use I actually use their blemish control primer but today we're actually going to use their primer glow oil so that should also be fun but yeah we'll start off with the eyebrows so first things first I am going to start by just creating some shape and what I love about this precise brow pencil, so it's called Ultra Pre Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and guys, it is ultra precise. Like, look how thin it is. Can you see this? It's so thin, and I love, 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 love when it's this thin because I just feel like it's gonna get exactly what I am after. And the color I'm using is deep brown. So yeah. So all we're gonna do, I just move my dirty mirror out of the way for you guys, is just brush some hairs into place. So I'm not really great with my eyebrows and to be honest, I'm not going to blame myself. I'm going to blame my scar <laughs> that I've had since I was a kid. Um, the hair just doesn't grow there so I always have to work around it. And whenever I actually go to an eyebrow shop and ask the lady, you know, to sort it out, she always says to me, oh, you know, like I can do it but it's not going to be great because you had a scar. So I stopped going to the eyebrow shop. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then I just line it a little bit. And I'll drag a little bit here. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, so that's the first brow. And now we're just gonna do the other brow. So those are brows. I don't really try to do too much with my brows. Um, I just feel like they're better off being left as natural as possible. Of course, we will conceal it. Um, I don't really conceal the top like I used to. I kind of leave it fluffy. But what I am going to do is just conceal the bottoms. So we'll go ahead and do that now. There's so much stuff on this table, it's crazy. So for the concealer, I'm going to try the Rich Cocoa. So I've got three concealers here. I have the one I always use, which is um, Deep Chestnut. This is a concealer I always use underneath my eyes. So we'll be using that for sure. But these two I've never used. So there's one that's Rich Cocoa and one that's Rich Ebony. So I'm going to try and use Rich Cocoa because Rich Ebony seems like more of a contour colour. Ugh! We've got more of a contour colour. So I'm going to try and use the Rich Cocoa and see how it looks underneath my eye. If it's too dark, what I will do is I'll use my deep chestnut that I normally use under my eye and I'll mix it with this because I really want to just use elf products, nothing else. So I will use this. And if you guys don't know, their 16 hour camo concealer is actually it's the word it's the truth it's just the everything like honestly it's got such a nice coverage that it just is amazing so this is how um the rich cocoa looks okay yeah that is perfect so as you guys can see it kind of is a good matte
Okay, I'm happy with that. These are the four um, primers, putty eye primers that they sent me. Never used an eye primer before. I don't even know what colour to use. I'm guessing the black is for like eyeliners and things like that. The white one, I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to go close to what I feel like a base should be, which is the cream. So I've got cream, clay, white and blank. But I might put cream all over my eye and I might see how clay looks inside. Let's see. I'm not sure. So I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> this is the whole point of reviews, you know. Whoopsie. <laughs> so this is how it looks. Just like that. And then inside is just a very cream base. Um, yeah, I don't know how to use this one. I don't know. Okay, so. Okay. Oh. I'm, I don't know if I'm using this the right way. But let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's doing what I'm guessing it's supposed to do. You can tell that it would be better than concealer. Because usually I use concealer to um, prime my eyelids. But because this is a thick base, I'm guessing it will just kind of allow the shadow to glide on. Let me know what you guys, do you guys use primers, like eye primers, eyelid primers, or do you not? It's good, because I think, obviously, this one is for when you're trying to do, like, good cut creases. I think you can definitely do a, a good cut crease out of this one. The white one, I think, would be really, really good for if you're doing, um, like, a lighter shadow, like, light shadows. And then the um, the more nudish one is probably if you're doing like a medium kind of eyeshadow. I don't know if that's even English um, makeup terminology, but I reckon if you wanted to use that, you could. And then the black one's probably for like darker shadows. But let me know what you guys use it for, because obviously that was my first time using it. So the next thing we're going to use is this palette. <sighs> Very exciting. Um, it's the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. It's 18 pieces of eyeshadow, um, which is quite a big range, to be fair, for a palette. This is how the palette looks. It's got such lovely colours inside of it. Um, so I'm probably... Oh, I like Spiced. Mmm, maybe we can do something with that. Sandy Bum also looks good. Keiko? Oh, they've got an orange in here as well. Like, they've got some really, 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 really pretty colours in here. To start my base, I'm going to start with Spiced, because I really like that colour. Oh, and it's very pigmented. It picked up so well onto my brush. Can you guys see that? Wow. And that was just, like, one take. Okay, this is a pretty eye colour. Okay, and the primer, the eyeshadow primer actually does do some work because I feel like this is just taken on so well. Yeah, that's a nice colour. So I'm going to also, I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's just so cute. It's so pigmented. Okay, okay. I'm excited. I'm going to go in with coconut just to kind of smoke it up a bit and just create some, you know, ombre-ish type of effect going on. But yeah, I'm loving that. I'm going to add a bit on this side as well. Hey. I think I'm gonna go in with the Fugo. I hope I'm saying that right. Just to kind of add a nice transition into my lid. I only ever do three eyeshadows because that's as far as my qualification takes me. I'm not good with eyeshadow at all. So, you know, we just do what we can and make it work. But I just love how pigmented this is. That is so pretty. I love this colour. So usually I would have to put concealer um, um, to create a cut crease. But because this is so pigmented, I actually don't have to. So... Yeah, you know what? That's a bit me. That is. I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really genuinely happy with that. 
gonna do it on the other side as well. But guys, do you love it? So I used, just if you do, guys do wanna know and you ever wanna recreate this look, I use spiced coconut and fugo. I hope I'm saying that right. But anyways, those are the colors I use. Love, love, love. Um, that is definitely going to be one of the shadow palettes that I always take everywhere. I think it's so good as well if you're going on holidays because it's still got your like neutrals, but you also have like the other colors to like glam it up. It's kind of like your everyday palette. You could definitely use it. Like there's greens, purples, oranges, mustard color. Oh, Dijon because of the mustard sauce. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah, and then there's sea salt as well, which is really shiny. Oh, do I want to add a bit of shine? No, 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 Lara. We do it for another day, another day, another day. <laughs> you know what? We're going all out now. We're going all out at the quarantine party at Lara's house. <laughs> I am going to use some of this. I used to be obsessed with glitter, liquid glitter as well, um, when I was younger, like, for any any birthday I ever went to, I always had a pink shadow, that was it, and some glitter, that was it, like, that was me. But I think we're gonna actually add a bit of glitter. This is fancy, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is how the glitter looks, um, and it is called the Liquid Glitter 24K Gold. And I do also have it in Disco Queen, so it's a silver colour. But we are going to go for gold, 24k gold, you know how it is, that's our vibes. Love, it has like a little... How do I, how do I use this? Okay, I'm going to test it on my hand first. Wow. That is pigmented. Like, what? I wasn't it... Whoa! You guys can't even... You can't even see it properly. Oh my gosh, it's proper, proper, proper pigmented. So I basically need to be careful. Oh, don't wanna do it, don't wanna do it. Hmm, I'm only gonna use a bit. I'm such a wuss when it comes to colors. So what I'm gonna do, guys, did you see that? Look at that. Can you see the reflection? It's this. How cool is that? I don't know why it's doing that, but it's quite cool. I'm just gonna use the Ico um, Skinny Smudge Proof Pitch Black Liquid Eyeliner just to kind of add some definition to the eyes. Like my eyeliner is usually So work. I'm just gonna put on my lashes. My lashes are always from Labello, and I am going to be wearing the Ashani lashes. One thing I hate putting on is lashes. Like I feel like I'm so crap at them. How do I get lashes on the underneath of my eye? Lash ain't even on properly yet either. <laughs> oh, right. We're back. We have lashes on. That was so hard i think one of my eyes has been beaten and bruised um but yeah next we're going to move on to our face so i'm going to use the primer glow oil i've never used a glow oil i'm not gonna lie like i say i use elf's uh blemish control um so yeah i use elf's blemish control primer and i stick to that i've been using it for years and i feel like it's just a good protective layer of salicylic for my skin um, but we are going to try the oil so it says use fingertips to apply two to three drops onto clean skin allow oil to fully absorb before applying makeup for best results so you can also mix it into your foundation as well if you want to so we'll just oh that feels very nice though and it's not as oily is what I thought it would like sharp on the skin which is also good mm. oh it smells nice it smells very nice okay go elf there is a few foundation colors here 
I might actually do a giveaway. If you guys love this video, let me know in the comments below. It's not just going to be e.l.f. products. Let me know um, some comments down below and also engage like in my Instagram. I'll just give away to somebody, something. So yeah. So I think Espresso is my colour. Alright, let's try Truffle. Yeah, I feel like that blends definitely quite well. Yeah. Okay. So I think it is Truffle. All of Elf's stuff normally tend to smell quite nice. Hmm. Okay, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's not my colour. <laughs> I feel like this is not, this isn't my colour. So nutmeg is actually more my colour because I need it to match my neck. Um, so this, even though it looks light, this would be a closer blend for my neck. The concealer I normally use is actually Deep Olive, but they've sent me a deep chestnut. They look kind of similar, but Deep Olive seems to be more lighter than the Deep Chestnut. So this might actually be a closer match because I have felt that, again, my concealer has always been a bit too bright, but I love it. So um, I'll try this out though. Okay, and I think because I have like, what kind of undertone do I have? I don't know, but I feel like it matches this. What do you guys think? Okay, so this has just become my new fab concealer. Like over even the color I used to use. This lash is dropping! It's going very, very well. So I'm now gonna use the Rich Ebony, uh, which is basically, I'm guessing, contour. I'm gonna use this contour. But just a shout out to Elf for whoever packed my PR stuff because everything is matching. Like, that's, that's it. Perfect, yep, it's a contour and uh, this is the colour I always try to go for as well, so this is this is perfect for me. And I always just buff it up with my brush. I actually got this brush from Middle, guys. Thanks to Lake Sanu, because she's the one who kind of plugged me in on this brush. Sorry guys, I've just seen, if you didn't want to use the oil, there's actually a matte uh, putty primer, which literally looks like this, which is so yum. Um, and it's to basically make your face matte if you don't want to have the glowy look So I definitely will be using this next time, but I kind of wanted a glowy look like why not? I haven't tried that before so the only thing that um, is not here is um, a Setting powder I like to use a light setting powder. So I'm just gonna go in with the one that I have so This is the setting powder that I'm using I'm actually gonna just put a little bit of the residue on my brows because I felt like they was just getting a little bit too shiny for me so that is done um, I'm gonna check if there's any type of like a bronzer here which oh, I don't think there is there ain't no guys I keep dropping stuff what I'll do, seeing as there is not, is just go in with the one that I do use. So, not bad. I've only used three products from somewhere else. So, I still think that I qualify for a full face of e.l.f. So, I'm just going to use the one that I normally use. Now, guys, I'm actually going to now rub off my face. Oh my gosh, okay. That's the other thing I don't have here. Okay, this is another thing I have to use. My blotting powder, because there is none. In terms of the um, D stuff, I'll put them in the bio for you. blush 
which is called the Jelly Pop Flush Blush. I'm not sure about this, guys. I'm not gonna like. Oh, I don't want it to drop out, but it's basically like jelly. I don't know how to use things like this. And I really don't want to mess up my makeup, so I've got some on my hand. I'm just gonna put it here. This is how it comes out. It comes out such a nice colour as well. But I'm scared. Can you guys see it? It's that one there. Ugh. Anything wet, I get scared. Like I just run. Is it even showing? Yo, I'm running away. Sorry guys, I'm such a wuss. Maybe one day. Like a day when I'm not gonna take any pictures. There's a lip exfoliator here and I wanna try it. <laughs> oh, it smells nice, it smells like cocoa. Brown sugar, mm. What's its job? Oh, okay, I can feel the sugar now. Okay. It's a lip pen peeler. Apply to clean damp lips and massage in a circular motion. Okay. Use a moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away. Oh, guys, that feels so nice. I feel like I'm getting a massage. Hmm. They feel so soft. Like, do they look baby soft? Oh! They look so soft. I'm gonna use their Seriously Satin Lipstick in the color Cocoa. I'm gonna use this brown lipstick, but I'm gonna use it as a liner. Um, I'm not really a fan of brown lips, but I love using it as liners. It just slides on. Oh, I like this color of brown. It's like a warm tone. And that's what I tend to go for because I always put like pink inside. This is one of the lip glosses. It's called Dream, Dream On Lip Gloss. It looks like this um, and it comes out like this. And just to kind of swatch it to you guys, I'll do it right here. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's a gloss and it's like a pink gloss. Oh, it smells good too. I love smelling things. I just feel like it's so nice when it just smells nice too. So this one, this one is blue. It's blue. So it actually comes out, okay, so it comes out like an iridescent, I hope I said that right. But basically it comes out like a shiny, like a shiny colour. So it's not actually blue, but there is blue in it, if that makes sense. I don't know. Share Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in colour Warm Verbena. This sounds cute. This sounds a bit more up my little street, you know. We're a bit of a plain Jane, unfortunately. <laughs> So the matte one looks like, oh that is cute. We have one more to check and then we're going to pick our colour. So this one is Sheer Slick Black Cherry Lipstick and it looks like this. And, oh, okay. It is, oh, it's like a lip balm, kind of got a glow to it, but that's the colour. So it's like a brown colour, but with some gloss to it. I still can't get over how nice my lips feel. So I think I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to use the Warm Fabrenna. This is cute, but you guys know me. I'm gonna need to put a little bit of pink in the middle. Signature, signature, can't, st I can't not do my signature guys. But this is nice. Like, you know, if you just didn't wanna do too much, you wasn't wearing too much makeup, but you still wanted it to look like your lip color. This is cute. Love an ombre effect. Oh, I think warm Vibrenna and my pink is about to be mate. So the last blush we're gonna try is the 
infra bigger infra infra bigger multi shift so it's a luminous berry color okay so it's like a little kind of lipstick type of you know vibe I'm not a fan of this type of uh, shadow for like this type of makeup I feel like this type of makeup I always try to keep it matte and kind of in place so I don't want to go I don't want to do too much more to it but I am going to try their multi-dimensional face and body shimmer which looks really really pretty guys it looks like this hold on let's see if we can get a bit of love okay cute oh guys this smells insane oh my gosh it smells so good i think we're done what do you guys think i used a whole range of elf stuff let me do my hair and come back so guys this is the final look what do you guys think i actually really really love it i used all of one brand's products guys like to be able to create a face just goes to show that you can do it you can do it you can be affordable you can get affordable drugstore products and you can use one brand because this is actually a face that i am happy with like, i would go out in this like i'm very very happy with it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you hit the subscribe button you hit the notification button and you leave a comment because you never know when i might just pop up and gift you guys with something for supporting me so i really 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 appreciate your love and your support thus far so yeah and this is it i hope you liked it and i shall see you guys in my next video bye